Good evening, everyone, and welcome again. This Bible reading time. But I missed again yesterday, but I'm back today. I had a long day yesterday. I had to go have a procedure done in, in the, at the hospital. And I had an ingrowing toenail cut out. By the time I got home, I was worn out. I had a need for a, a good long time. So, But God has blessed us to be back today. And I give him all the praise. I give him all the glory. And I thank him for guiding the doctor's hands. But most of all, I thank him for the plan of salvation and for saving someone like me. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you today, Lord. I to thank you one more time. I for you may be blessing, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for the scripture you led us to today. And I pray, O oh Lord, I you bless us, not touch my lip, the lip, the clay, and give us wisdom, Lord, to speak your word, Lord, I with understanding, that we all grow closer to you. I have a great desire, I, I Lord, to follow you, I, and I pray today, I, I, you let this word sink into our hearts, I, that we may know how, I, and I'll sin again you, I, and I pray, O oh Lord, today, I, that you bless every listener, I, I listen to this video today, I, and bless them beyond compare, I, beyond their dreams. I, I pray, Lord, you fill their heart uh, with your Holy Spirit, uh, that they can feel you, uh, uh, your spirit, uh, running avenues of their soul uh, and bloodstream. Uh, and I pray, Lord, uh, you let this word be sank down uh, into our heart, uh, and we may learn uh, to not sit again, you, Lord, uh, and follow your word. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, you give us strength and courage uh, as we press along. Uh, give us courage to cross the wide valleys uh, and climb the high hill. Uh, and Lord, I pray uh, you'll help us deliver this word uh, uh, to the lost and dying world uh, that they can hear you uh, and what you're saying to them. Uh, Lord, because we know uh, your word is true and will uh, uh, stand forever uh, and it is settled forever uh, in heaven uh, to not be added to or taken away from. Uh, but Lord, I pray uh, you touch it in a way uh, that we'll know uh, how to follow you uh, and give us more desire and a greater hunger uh, how to follow you uh, because we're nearing uh, the end of our journey uh, and one day we'll go uh, out to meet you uh, my friend, my friend yes Lord Jesus uh, I call you my friend uh, and I pray today uh, that you bless every one of us uh, and help us be carrying your word uh, to the lost and dying world uh, and and these things we ask in the wonderful name uh, of our Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Uh, and thank you, Father, one more time uh, for your love uh, and for your mercy. Uh. Now today we're going to be looking into the second chapter of 1 John. And we're going to be talking about the Antichrist. There are many thoughts and beliefs about the Antichrist. But let's begin here and see what he begins to tell us in John, 1 John, chapter 2, King James Version, what he says about the Antichrist. But later on, there's, there is one particular one he calls the Antichrist. But now listen how he begins to read. Chapter 2, verse 1, the King James Version Bible. The only Bible I use and the only Bible I read. Because this is the only one I've ever had since a child up. He helped me all through the years. It's going to help me still. And if we can't get enough from the King James Version Bible, then we're not going to get enough from the others. It just that away, for God's word is settled and sealed forever, to ever stand as he spoke it many, many years ago, and it's still strong today. Now, second chapter, and verse number one, and it reads, 
And before we get started, I want you to just open up your heart, open up your arms, and welcome the Holy Spirit in, and invite Him and say, Holy Spirit, I invite you to come into my heart today uh, and guide me and let me hear the words uh, that I need to hear that will lead us closer to you. And he will come in, that spirit will come in and flood our souls. Uh, I know he will because I already feel him. I, I don't have to guess. I don't have to ask no one uh, because I feel him down in my heart uh, and down in my soul. Uh, now let's get into the word and see what he began to say uh, before I get carried away uh, because it's easy done uh, uh, when the spirit is moving uh, my friend because uh, he'll have put something in there that wasn't before uh, and he'll renew what's already been there uh, my friend so let's get ready and see what he has to say uh, and rejoice because we have got the word that we can hear and that we can grow thereby. Uh, now, verse number one, chapter two. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. My pop friend today, he tells us plainly in these first few verses, the first three verses here, how important it is for us to live a Christian life as we have professed and called I him our Savior that we obey his commandments my friend and his commandments are good and true and will stand forever my friend because it's his only word my friend and he is the only truth we have and it is going to stand forever whether people like it or not now listen to what he said in verse 4 he that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandment is a liar and the truth is not in him, but whoso keepeth the, his word uh, in him, verily is the love of God perfected, uh, are grown up uh, uh, hereby know uh, we that we are in him, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, how many people say today, uh, they can't know till they get there, uh, uh, my friend, uh, I pray that they feel that way, uh, they, they're thinking the wrong things, uh, because uh, in Peter he said uh, to make her call in an election sure uh, therefore my friend uh, if we couldn't be sure uh, before we get there uh, they wouldn't have told us that uh, because it would have been false uh, and my friend there ain't nothing false uh, in God's word uh, that he spoke it my friend uh, and allowed him to write for you and me uh, uh, therefore my friend uh, give him some glory and give him praise uh, for being able uh, uh, to get in his word a little while uh, and see what he says, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, and pray to walk closer uh, than you ever have before, uh, uh, because we are nearing uh, uh, the end of our journey uh, uh, down here, uh, and we will soon be moving on uh, out of this world uh, and go to a better home uh, that is waiting for us uh, on the other side. Uh, if we have been saved by His grace uh, and by His mercy, uh, now let's go on uh, a little farther. But whosoever keepeth, verse 5, but whosoever keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that says he abideth in him, ought even say also to, also to walk, even as he walked. My friend, my friend, how often have we failed to walk as he said walk. My friend, every one of us has have uh, uh, some to other uh, uh, some my friend uh, therefore give him praise uh, uh, for forgiving us uh, and being loving father uh, and loving savior uh, that he will and does forgive us uh, of our faults and our failures uh, and our neglect to follow him uh, as we should uh, and we all have uh, my friend uh, the better we can confess that to ourselves uh, uh, teach us ourselves that uh, uh, better all we all 
Lord to realize that what God's word means. Uh, and he meant just exactly what he said. Uh, he didn't beat around the bush. Uh, he comes straight forward, my friend. Uh, uh, therefore, me, we must also, uh, and I know, my friend, uh, there's many today uh, that don't want to hear the truth of God's word. Uh, and therefore, uh, they ain't going to preach it as it's written uh, because uh, uh, they're all guilty, uh, my friend, uh, and they know it. Uh, but they won't confess it uh, uh, because uh, they want to try to fool people. Uh, but my friend, uh, they may fool me and you, uh, uh, my friend, uh, but they're not uh, and no way going to fool God uh, uh, because he knows uh, all things. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, I stand on God's word. Uh, Stand long as you can stand. Uh, I stand just a little bit longer uh, because he'll come on the scene, uh, my friend. Uh, he won't leave us alone. He won't forsake us. Uh, many times we have forsaken him, uh, but he hasn't forsaken us. Uh, he has uh, his hand uh, is outstretched still to those uh, that strayed away from him, uh, asking him to come back, uh, and he's knocking on doors. I uh, uh, sending out his Holy Spirit, uh, drawing spirit uh, to. Someone else to be saved, uh, even as we talk, uh, my friend. Uh, now listen to what he said. Uh. Verse 7, brethren, I, I write no new commandment uh, unto you, uh, but an old commandment uh, which ye had uh, from the beginning. Uh, the old commandment is the word uh, which you have heard uh, from the beginning. Uh, uh, the word of God is he spoke it, uh, my friend, uh, and give it to us that uh, I would lead us to him uh, and prove that he is the Son of God uh, and who he said he is. Uh, and lo let us, uh, uh, to we met him uh, and a free pardon of sin uh, and he forgave us uh, my friend and saved us uh, he is the same God uh, the same Lord today uh, with the same love uh, and he'll save those that come to him uh, that are being led and drawn uh, by the Holy Spirit uh, my friend uh, and some think they can be saved uh, just any old time they want to uh, but that's not the way it is uh, a spirit's gotta be drawing them uh, or they won't come to him, uh, because the Spirit will let them know uh, uh, they're wrong, uh, and that they need a Savior, uh, and they'll follow that Spirit uh, if it's a drawing him. Uh, my friend, my friend, it's not my word, uh, uh, this is God's word, uh, and I will stand on it uh, until I'm no more, uh, because I know God, uh, I know the Lord will do uh, exactly what he said, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, and he won't make no excuse, uh, my my friend, uh, now listen what he says. Uh. Again, a new verse eight. Uh, again, uh, a new commandment I write uh, unto you, uh, which th thing is true uh, in him and. He and in you, uh, because the darkness is past, and, and the true light now shineth. Uh, my friend, we were lost uh, in darkness. Uh, my friend, my friend, now that we are saved, uh, we have come to the light uh, that we might see him uh, and through his word. Uh, and when he speaks to us, uh, we'll see him through the word uh, and through the Holy Spirit. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, uh, no wonder what he said. Uh, if we don't, we don't love the Spirit, it's none of His, uh, because He knew uh, uh, what He's talking about. Uh, therefore, rejoice and ask, uh, always ask the Holy Spirit uh, to come on the scene. Uh, and my friend, He will, uh, and guide us in all truth uh, and all righteousness. Uh, now listen to what He goes on to say. Uh, he that saith He is in the light, uh, and hateth His brother, uh, is in darkness even unto now. Uh, he that loveth His brother... He bideth in the light, uh, and there is none occasion uh, of stumbling in him. Uh, but he uh, uh, that ha hateth his brother uh, is in darkness, uh, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not uh, uh, where he goeth. Uh, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes, uh, and today, uh, as I read uh, uh, this word today, I don't judge. Uh, I know I don't, my friend, uh, but we wonder uh, how many is walking around today uh, that 
that hating his brother uh, and yet proclaimed uh, to be a child of God, uh, my friend. Uh, that's what did he say uh, uh, right here, uh, my friend? Uh, I want to read this again, uh, my friend. Uh, I want us to get what he says uh, and we'll be a coming uh, uh, to the Antichrist. Uh, I'm going to speak of in a minute. Uh, he that loveth his, verse 10 again, uh, he that loveth his brother, uh, he bows in the light, uh, and there is no occasional stumbling uh, in him. Uh, but he that hateth his brother uh, is in darkness, uh, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, uh, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Uh, I write unto you, uh, uh, little children, uh, because your sins are forgiven. Uh, you for his name's sake, my friend, my friend, why can't we rejoice today, knowing that our sins are forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, that died on the cross of Calvary, that we could have life and have it more abundantly, and my friend, and be blessed down here in this world, but more than that, I take us home to heaven, out uh, of glory land uh, uh, someday uh, after a while uh, where we can rest in his presence uh, uh, forevermore uh, and his glory uh, my friend, my friend, my friend uh, rejoice and give him praise uh, if you know you're saved uh, and on the way to heaven uh, uh, today if he would call you uh, and if you know uh, if he called today uh, you'd wake up at his feet in glory uh, I give him praise uh, I give him glory because he's worthy of all praise and glory. And my friend, let us be teaching this what gospel to the lost and dying world, wherever they are, my friend, because Jesus gave his life for them on the cross. Just the same as it is for you and I, my friend. It don't matter the color of the skin, my friend, because God, he didn't come to save skin. He came to save the souls of man, uh, and my friend, uh, one soul is just as good as another uh, in the eyes of God, uh, and my friend today, uh, let's take God's word over uh, everything, uh, because it is word, my friend, uh, will wash us uh, and make us white as snow, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, that is a pure water, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, because his blood is drink indeed, uh, and his flesh is bread indeed, uh, a spirit speaking my friend uh, now listen uh, what he goes on to say uh, and verse 12 uh, I write unto you little children uh, because your sins are forgiven uh, for you for uh, his name's sake uh, I write unto you fathers uh, because you have known him uh, that is from the beginning uh, I write unto you young men uh, because you have overcome uh, uh, the wicked one uh, I write unto you uh, little children because you have known uh, uh, the father uh, who was that wicked one uh, that wicked one was Satan himself uh, uh, my friend uh, he is a wicked one uh, and he says uh, I do us uh, that men say by his grace uh, that we have overcome that we that wicked one, uh, my friend. Uh, give God the praise, give him the glory. Uh, we didn't overcome nothing on our own, uh, and we can't. Uh, but through and by the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and his blood, uh, we overcome. Uh, now listen, uh, verse 14, uh, I have written unto you, fathers, uh, because you have known him, uh, that is from the beginning, and uh, I have written unto you, young men, uh, because you are strong, uh, and the word of God abideth in you, uh, and you have overcome the wicked one, uh, love not the world, uh, these are things that are in the world, uh, if any man, uh, I love the world, uh, the love of the Father is not in him. Uh, that's not my words, my friend, uh, but it, it is God's word. Uh, it's written and settled forever uh, in heaven uh, to never be changed or added to, uh, although many do, uh, because they want to make it sound good, uh, my friend. Uh, if we can't win them to the Lord uh, by preaching the truth uh, and teaching the truth, uh, what profit have we done, uh, my friend? Uh, because if we don't use the 
the word that has it written. I, I bid we are failing God uh, because he told us uh, to preach the word to be instant in season, out of season, uh, with all on suffering and doctrine. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, this is the word uh, that we need to be speaking uh, uh, to the lost uh, and dying world. Uh, now listen to what it says. Uh, For all that is, verse 16, uh, For all that is in the world, uh, uh, the lust of the flesh, uh, and the lust of the eyes, uh, and the pride of life, uh, is not of the Father, uh, but is of the world, uh, and the world passes away, uh, and that the lust thereof. Uh, but he that doth the will uh, of God abideth forever. Uh, he that abideth, he, abide, he that, now let me read this again. And the world, Verse 17 again, and the world passes away, uh, uh, the lust thereof, uh, but he that doth the will of God, uh, abideth forever, uh, my friend, uh, he's gonna live on forevermore, uh, in the kingdom of heaven, uh, my friend, my friend, on that great day, uh, uh, when we get home, uh, won't that be a wonderful time, uh, uh, for God's children, uh, when they all get home, uh, I do be with the Lord, uh, and see the loved ones, uh, that's gone on before, uh, but the greatest of all uh, is to be able to kneel down uh, and before our Savior uh, and thank Him over and over uh, uh, for His wonderful love uh, and praise Him forevermore uh, because He is the one uh, that saved us uh, and gave His life blood uh, on the old rugged cross uh, that we could be saved uh, to pay our sin debt in full uh, that He did not owe my friend. Uh, we owed the sin debt uh, and we could not pay uh, but he paid it for us uh, uh, with his own life uh, on the Calvary's cross uh, my friend uh, that the world would not have to die lost uh, without him uh, but could have a home in heaven uh, uh, when this life is over uh, now let's go on uh, little children it, it is the last time uh, and as ye have heard uh, that and Christ shall come. Uh, even now are there many uh, and a Christ, uh, whereby we know that it is the last time. Uh, my friend, uh, he speaks of many and a Christ. Uh, my friend, now listen to what he said. Uh, they, they went out from us. Uh, verse 19, uh, they went out from us. Uh, but they were not all of us, uh, for if they had been of us, uh, they would no doubt have continued uh, with us. Uh, but they went out that uh, they might be manifest uh, that they were not all of us. Uh, my friend approved us. Uh, they weren't all of us. Uh, my friend had said they were. Uh, I go to a church today. Uh, I mean, is there uh, that is not of God, but to say they are. Uh, and they're soon leave uh, and they're gone uh, now listen what he said uh, verse 20 but ye have an unction uh, from the holy one uh, and you know all ye know all things uh, i have written unto you uh, because you know not the truth uh, but because you know it uh, and to no lie uh, is of the truth uh, my friend my friend let me read these verses i uh, uh, two chapter two verses again twenty and twenty one uh, but we have an unction uh, from the holy one uh, and you know all things, uh, my friend, the Holy One, uh, is the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and He has revealed to us things to know, uh, uh, those that are His, uh, and those that are not, uh, through and by His love, uh, and by the Holy Spirit, uh, that will guide us, uh, if we listen to it. Uh, I have not written unto you, uh, because you know not the truth, uh, but because you know it, uh, and that no lie is of the truth. Uh, who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is the Christ? Uh, he is the Antichrist uh, that denies the Father and the Son. Uh, my friend, uh, you cannot deny one, my friend, uh, unless we deny all, uh, uh, both, uh, because they both are as one, uh, at perfect unity uh, with each other. Uh, my friend, what you do to one, uh, you do to the other, uh, my friend. Uh, that's not my word, uh, but it's God's holy word, uh, and it's spoken. Uh, 
and my friend. We'll stand on it until we're no more, because it's the only truth we have in this world. And my friend, this truth is going to stand as long as the world does, as long as eternity rolls. This word will never change, will always abide and stand as sure, because every word is settled in heaven, and that's good enough for me. 23, whosoever denies uh, the Son, uh, the same hath not the Father, uh, but he that acknowledges the Son uh, hath the Father also. Uh, let that uh, therefore abide in you, uh, which you have heard from the beginning, uh, if that which uh, you have heard from the beginning shall uh, remain in you, uh, ye also shall continue uh, in the Son uh, and the Father. Uh, and this is the promise uh, that he hath made, hath promised us, uh, even eternal life. Uh, these things have I written uh, unto you concerning them uh, that seduce you. Uh, I, this word seduce uh, means be which, my friend. Uh, I change your mind uh, and cause them to believe something that uh, is not that way. Uh, my friend, my friend, again, uh, this is God's word. Uh, it is not mine, uh, but my friend, uh, we are required uh, of God. Uh, I commanded of God to preach it. Uh, and teach it as it's written. I, I whether they like it, I, I whether they don't. I, because, my friend, he wants them to hear the truth I, and the conclusion of the whole matter, I, that Jesus Christ is the only way out the glory land, I, and we must go through and by him I, if we make it there, I, my friend. I, now let's go on I, I, just a little farther. I, my friend, my friend, my friend, I, how wonderful it is. I, how big a child of God, uh, and know we have a heavenly home. Uh, uh, when this life is over, uh, that we can go to rest. I uh, uh, sleep in Jesus uh, and wake at his feet uh, one glorious day after a while. Uh, and what a day uh, uh, that will be uh, when God's children get home uh, uh, to that good land uh, that he went to prepare for us uh, a long time ago. Uh, glory, glory, glory. Uh, get in his word. Uh, get in there and stay. Uh, get the dust off the altar uh, where we used to pray. Uh, uh, keep the dust off your Bibles. Uh, begin to read in God's word uh, and ask him to guide us uh, all along the way uh, and show us what we need to know uh, that we can live a prosperous life for him, uh, my friend. Uh, and he will grant that, uh, my friend, for us uh, because he loves us uh, and gave his all for us. Us, uh, on Calvary Cross. Uh, now listen uh, what he says. Uh, 25 again. Uh, and this is the promise that he hath promised uh, us even eternal life. Uh, these things have I written uh, unto you uh, concerning them that seduce you. Uh, but but the anointing uh, uh, which ye have received uh, of him abideth in you. Uh, and ye need not uh, that any man teach you, uh, but as the same anointing uh, uh, teacheth you uh, of all things, uh, and is truth, uh, and it is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, uh, ye shall abide uh, in him. Uh, my friend, is no other name uh, under heaven whereby given. Uh, where man by man or woman, uh, I can be saved. Uh, my friend, uh, I didn't add the word woman. Uh, uh, because man and woman is the same uh, in the eyes of God. Uh, my friend, my friend, we are all uh, uh, here children. Uh, we've all got the same kind of soul. Uh, uh, my friend. Now listen, listen, listen uh, to the word, uh, and we will grow thereby, uh, and let it sink into our heart. Uh, not that we are any perfect, my friend, uh, but we will come to a better understanding uh, of God's word. Uh, if you let it dwell, uh, if we will let it dwell uh, in our hearts. Uh, now listen what he goes on to say. Uh, uh, glory, glory, glory. Uh, I can't praise him enough. Uh, uh, now verse uh, uh, 20 
28. Uh, and now, little, little children, uh, abide in him, uh, that when he shall appear, uh, we may have confidence, uh, and not be ashamed before him uh, at his coming. Uh, if you know that he is righteous, uh, ye know that every one uh, that doth righteousness is born of him. <laughs> born of him, my friend, my friend, oh, what a letter has he wrote, written to you and I, and that we can go by it, and learn, and grow in the knowledge of the Lord, and Savior Jesus Christ, that we might grow and be able to witness to him throughout the world, where we may go, and obey him, and lead lost soul to him, and be saved, how that we have blessed us, that we can lead our own children and tell them about the Lord and my friend those that we love dearly that's part of us and I pray today that we will realize what he called us to do my friend my friend my friend he called us I preach this gospel to the lost and dying world regardless where they at regardless color or creed my friend because they all the same in the eyes of God, my friend today, listen to what he said, and we'll be blessed in our deeds that we do for others to see, try to help someone to be saved before it's too late, now most, most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you one more time to give you the praise and glory for another day, and the words you gave us this evening, and I pray your word uh, will not return void, uh, and you already said it wouldn't. Uh, and I pray, Lord, it will accomplish uh, in somebody's heart tonight. Uh, and Lord, I pray today that uh, uh, you send out your drawing spirit uh, to those that lost one more time, uh, and give them another chance, Lord, uh, to be saved before it's too late. Uh, because we know, uh, however we leave this world, uh, is the way we'll stand before you uh, one day after a while. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, uh, if it be your will, uh, I choose reach down and touch and heal uh, those sick and inflicted in body uh, but my friend uh, my lord uh, if it be your will uh, and if it not be your will then to be healed lord uh, I pray you make their pain uh, and suffering easier to endure uh, and bear uh, and lord I pray you let their testimony uh, uh, be a witness to those that know them uh, and see them every day uh, but by their faithfulness to you in the kingdom uh, uh, they can be one uh, uh, to you lord by your word, uh, brother, uh, uh, faithful as they live, uh, although they suffer, Lord, uh, and I pray, Lord, you keep us walking uh, on the road it's right, uh, I try to win sons and daughters uh, into thy kingdom, uh, that they can be saved, uh, and I'll have to go down to that lake of fire, uh, and I pray, oh Lord, uh, uh, that was not prepared for mankind, uh, but for the devil and his angels, uh, and I pray, Lord, you save someone tonight, uh, uh, before they sleep, uh, because tomorrow's not promised, Lord, uh, but eternity is. Uh, and, Lord, when you get ready to call us, uh, we can hear you say, Well done, uh, uh, my child. Uh, enter into home. Uh, your labor on earth is now done. Uh, I come home and live uh, uh, with me forever uh, in my kingdom. Uh, and, Lord, when we get there, uh, we can praise you forevermore uh, and join the angels uh, that sing into you around the throne uh, uh, the day and night. And we join uh, their loved ones, our loved ones uh, that's gone on before, Lord, uh, that are waiting for our coming. Uh, and Lord, when we get there, we'll be there uh, uh, forevermore, uh, as long as eternity rolls. Uh, and we've been there uh, uh, 10,000 years, Lord. Uh, we'll have no less day to sing praise to you uh, than when we first begun. Uh, and we will not be wishing uh, for somewhere else to be, uh, but we will be with you you forevermore, and I pray, O oh Lord, until that day comes, and you call us away, I pray, you still give us the word, and lead us along, and give us the words we need to say, that will lead someone to you, and be saved, Lord, and we know, if we can live
He wanted you and they'd be saved. Uh, he'll be worth it all we ever went through. Uh, in his life or 10,000 more. Uh, I just like it. Uh, because it'll be one more soul. Uh, that the devil did not get uh, and pull down with him uh, and these things we ask uh, in the wonderful name uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, and amen uh, and thank you Father one more time uh, for your love uh, and for your mercy